All right, welcome back. Now we're gonna really get into the actual heat press. So you saw in the last video how to set it up. Now I've got my uh, Cricut press here all set to go and it's important to lay out the things that you need right away. Be all set so that when you're ready to press, you can move forward. So here you can see I've set my transfer paper over. I have uh, set my Cricut press on there and this time I'm just doing the neoprene warm up. So that was part of my recipe. Remember, you're gonna have to look at what your recipes say and it's just a rough ballpark. It's a lot of trial and error but you can find a lot of that information on the internet already. So that's been on there for about 10 seconds. And my neoprene uh, coaster's warmed up. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna be mindful to, to tape it down. I might recommend, based on how this one turns out, a second uh, piece of tape there. I set over my protective paper. I press straight down and try not to do too much, mo much movement. So I would do hands off and I hit that start button and I let it start counting down. And the reason we say it's important that you don't have too much movement, once you start to heat set, if you move that iron around a lot during the middle of the heat setting, it'll actually make the image kind of blurry and look shadowed. And obviously if this is something you're selling or giving to someone, you don't necessarily want it to look like it's got a shadow or blurriness, especially if you just get your hands off of it, you'll be in really good shape. Now you'll notice just on the left hand side, I've got that cradle there for this particular press. You don't wanna set this press down on anything solid while it's hot. So make sure you set it off to the side. We're gonna wait until uh, it counts down. It'll give me a little beep. And then I can lift it pretty much straight off and right over to the cradle. Now when I move my paper, you'll notice because it wasn't taped down very well, my, my print has actually moved. Thankfully, it didn't move in the middle of that. But what you'll see is you can see the color that's been drawn off in that circle there and drawn into our neoprene coaster. And that's what a good heat press should look like. Sometimes the longer you leave it on, the better. You'll get a little bit better press. And that's why you want to look up your recipes and make sure that that's all squared away. Remember, when you're done, you want to make sure you turn the power off on those heat presses. Unplug them or turn the power off for the safety of everyone in the building. And now I've got my neoprene uh, heat, uh, heat press item set to go. I'm going to let it cool. It's curled up a little bit on me. And then from there, in about five minutes, it should be set to go.